Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Davis, and today I'd like to dis Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Davis, and today I would like to tell you about the disease called trichinosis. Trichinosis is caused by a parasite, which is a small round worm called trichinella. Uh, trichinella is most commonly caused when somebody ingests or eats undercooked or raw meat by animals that are infected with this. Um, for people, the most common type of meat that is associated with having trichinella is pig meat. Um, also very commonly infected are things like walruses, bears, and foxes, but we don't usually eat those, do we? Now, an infection usually begins when one ingests, or again eats, the cyst, which is an encapsulated larva of the worm. Once this cyst enters into the stomach and in the intestines, the cyst dissolves and the larva is then left to mature. Um, at this stage, you may have symptoms um, of maybe a mild fever, but typically maybe some bloating, diarrhea, nauseousness, although with mild infections, you may have no symptoms at all. As these larvae mature into adults, the adults will then have more larvae, little babies, and these can then be dispersed into the bloodstream and travel to other tissues such as muscles and organs. Um, when this happens, typically the symptoms are a little bit more severe and will involve fever, muscle aches, fatigue, and sometimes you can even feel um, in your muscles a feeling um, that is unusual and which is actually the larva or the worms in there. Treatment is based at recognizing an infection and taking medicine to kill the parasite. Now when the parasite is in its earlier larval stages, um, it's relatively easy to kill with certain special kinds of antibiotics for parasites. An example of one is albendazole or another one is mebendazole. However, once the infection travels into the other tissues or organs, these antibiotics really are not effective anymore. Now don't panic. The good news is that Sometimes there's very few symptoms, and even when they are, typically the disease is self-limited and the body will actually fight off these infections by themselves and the parasites will die on their own. But until that time, you may not feel so great. Now the prevention is simply avoiding foods and meats that are raw or undercooked, particularly pork. Um, now I know one of the big things that we eat today is sushi. A sushi, as long as it's from a reputable restaurant that you know takes proper precautions to, to prepare it correctly, and same thing with foods like pork tatar, which is raw pork, as long as those are prepared correctly or come from reputable sources, there's little danger. Um, but if you're out in the wild or in less reputable places or other parts of the world, um, this is something to watch for. Typically, an infection will usually occur one to two weeks after you eat an infected food. So if you have any suspicion that perhaps you've been infected, don't wait, tell your doctor right away because remember, treatment right away is very effective. Later on, it becomes more difficult.